Hi, it's Adrian. How are you doing today? And so it's the day before St. Patrick's Day, and I kind of wanted to get in one more green look before, you know, it's over. Not that summer isn't coming, and we can't do a lot of green looks, but I have one palette that's actually been in a whole bunch of different videos, but I don't think I ever did a dedicated video on it. So that's what we're doing today. And to go ahead and get started, um, started off with a combination of the Glow Oil by Supergoop. This one has an SPF of 50. And the Glow Serum by Hard Candy. And this one has a little bit of a tint to it. It's, it is a serum primer. Um, it has a lot of, uh, smells like candy. It smells like candy. And it does give me a little bit of a bronze not a lot of bronze but it just gives me a little bit of color in my face and since it's winter time it yeah it comes off a little bronze um, as far as what I did for the actual foundation I used the Revolution Skin Silk uh, this one's an F2 and I'm still trying this I haven't actually done a full review on it yet um, let's see as far as uh, what else I'm doing, I got um, the ColourPop in this is a glowing lip out. This one is actually in lavender, so that's what I have on there. And then I did get out the Maybelline Falsies, the Surreal Falsies for the mascara, and the Essence Thick and Wow and Caramel Blonde for the eyebrows. So that's kind of what I have on there. As far as uh, blush and bronzer today, I did go ahead and use a MAC Light Radiant Rosy, one of my favorites of all time. And then the LYS, and this one is in Unique. Yeah, it's Unique. And so this is what I have on as far as, uh, yeah, the blush today. I don't know if it's really showing up there, but um, it's, yeah, it's a nice deep dark cream. This is a clap by Yeah, I put more of that on the inner corner. Um, I did go ahead and put some of this green on the outer corner. And um, let's see, what else did I do here? And I put some of this on the lid as well. And then I put this color. Um, no, actually, I didn't. I used the uh, Emirate to go ahead and do the eyeliner. That's how the eye look came out. And it's kind of taking complementary colors because I'm pretty sure that if you look at the color wheel, green is on one side of the color wheel and purple's on the other side. So you're working with colors that naturally clash with each other. And so it's, um, it's a little disturbing to actually try to do a makeup look that way 
but it's a lot of fun as well. And I mean, I guess you could do an all purple look or an all green look. But um, yeah, it's kind of fun trying to go ahead and put them together. The only place I have the purple is right from here to here. And I think it's kind of fun. I kind of I kind of like it. It's a very light look. It doesn't have a lot of color that makes you go. Um, but it is very, very shiny and very fun. Um, I also did go ahead and use the Glowish. And I used their Powder and Fair um, as a finishing powder. And then I had um, did use a setting spray. And I went ahead and put, what was it? Oh, I put my Trixie ninth inning into this spray bottle because I like the spray bottle a little bit better. And um, let's see, I think that's about the whole look today. Hmm. Um, yeah, I think it turned out fun. I think it would definitely be a fun, um, you know, I know that most of the parades were today, but if you're going out to a party or you're going out to maybe lunch tomorrow or to, you know, whatever activity that you have going on that you know having a fun green look on for St. Patrick's Day is fun. This one is really light. It'll probably be a really good summer look as well and um, yeah I think that's my video for the day so I hope that you have a great day and I'll see you later. Bye!